I'm Jenny, and I have been searching everywhere on YouTube, Amazon, and Google to find instructions on how to set up a 12 by 30 Intex metal frame pool with a saltwater combo pump, and I found nothing. So I wanted to uh, share with all you DIY girls, or anybody that has never done this before, like me, how to do it. So anyway, let's get started. I'm going to walk you through my process. Basically, I wanted to have a nice oasis to enjoy my back garden view. And I just had this uh, area that was just originally grass, and I mulched it forever until it was nothing, and then we leveled it out. It took quite a bit of work to get it leveled out. It's still not quite level. It's sloping a little bit towards the back fence, but I don't want the water flowing to, you know, towards the house. It's pretty close here. And then I had a nice um, <clears throat> neighbor that I hired to lay the paver chips and the, uh, sorry, the marble chips and the pavers, but um, around the pool, once you set it up, uh, I found it important to go ahead and build a cove of garden soil just to kind of protect it from this marble chip, but also kind of help solidify it there, stabilize it. To put up the pool, long story quick, um, we, I recommend start in the same place. If you're working with someone, start at the same spot. Don't somebody, don't let somebody go over this side and you go to this side. Start together, work together to put the big horizontal bar through the vinyl, attach it to the T junction, and go around and do all of those in the same direction. And then once you come all the way back to the very last one, you'll have to raise up the this T part and this so it'll fit, and then you put it back down, and you put uh, these uh, vertical posts. There's a, uh, it's buried down in here, but they have little black caps that you put them into to sit them flat, and these go inside the vinyl decorative holding ring, whatever, and that's a technical term, and then you lock it in place on the T-junction here, and then you push the pins in and make sure you lock them down, <clears throat> and make sure these vertical things are all, you know, vertical as you go. As you put water in the pool, you'll have to continue to walk around and check your vertical poles, make sure they're staying vertical. They'll shift a little bit as the water fills. And also, I went around even after the water was filled, and I, you know, uh, make sure these are clicked down in here tight. Um, then I got inside the pool and kicked out against the wall with my feet at the bottom, at the base, as the water was filling to spread out the the liner, smooth it out a bit. If this is a small pool, so that was pretty pretty easy to do. Two people, it might help for one person to stand on this side, somebody else over here, and then both of you kick out at the same time and go around the pool and do that. It makes it quicker and maybe smooths it out a little better. So there you have it. You set up your pool uh, frame, and uh, then we're gonna show you how to set up the pump. This is the 12 by 30 Intex metal frame, and it comes with a pump that I believe is 530 gallons per hour, similar to this one. Um, but I wanted to get away from all the chlorine stuff, so I ended up switching to this saltwater combination pump. But if you don't have that system, <clears throat> this is a weird pool, in my opinion, because it has two uh, hose connectors for the strainer grids, which I've I've only seen one usually on a pool and most pumps come with only two hose connectors so they have this little thing coming out and it goes to a T junction on your original pump and this will connect with another smaller hose that goes to your um, pump system <clears throat> but I took that off and I purchased this saltwater combo system and pump from Amazon and I discovered uh, you cannot set it up with the 12 by 30 pool without two things. First, they do not tell you that you need a plunger valve. It's Intex 
item number 10747. If you call Intex, they'll tell you you have to get that item plus the hose o-ring, the step washer, blah, blah, blah. But I actually found it locally at a, at a pool store. It was a knockoff uh, plunger valve with everything. So luckily, I got it all in one place. Um, and I'll explain that in a second. The other thing they don't tell you correctly is in the Intex salt water system manual, they tell you to hook up the hose con connectors incorrectly. So I'm going to tell you correctly. Um, and by the way, Intex, if you're watching and you want a technical writer who can make sense step by step in English so that customers can understand how to put up a pool simply, please contact me. Anyway, so you set up the hose that comes with the 12 by 30, your strainer grids, these two hose come out like usual. This comes with the pool. You hook it up to your uh, T junction here. And then with the saltwater pump system, uh, it comes with a little uh, uh, comes with like a little adapter thingy here, and you just screw this onto it. It's pretty sim simple. This is the hose that comes with the saltwater pump. You screw that on. So these are the strainer grids, and this hose connection goes to the m motor housing uh, water outlet on the saltwater pump system. To repeat, strainer grids connect to the hose from the saltwater system pump. That connects to the back of the motor housing. You just screw that on, it's pretty simple. And then the nozzle inlet hose that comes with the saltwater pump goes from the water outlet near the electrolode cell. And that comes into your plunger valve, which you can purchase at your local store or Intex. It's number 10747, or Amazon also has it. Um, and then to make sure you're... Oh, I forgot. Um, there's also a, something called a B adapter that came with the saltwater system. And you attach that uh, to this uh, plunger valve. Screw this on tight. And then, of course, you've got to push your nozzle inlet. But you push in as far as you can and then tighten it here. And this is screwed on here and here. And that is how you set it up. So now you have all your connectors set up. Uh, nothing is plugged in, pretend. Okay, I plug it in over here, but just pretend it's not plugged in. To start your filter pump, you want to first uh, open your uh, plunger valve by pulling it all the way up counterclockwise so it's up, not flush down, so the water can flow through. And over here on your saltwater system, you will um, release the air valves by loosening these counterclockwise. When And then you can lift your nozzle inlet hose connector to make sure the air is kind of any air that's trapped can come through. Once it does, water will come out of this and this air valve, these two air valves. Once the water is coming out, tighten them back up. And then you're ready to start your pump. So you can plug it in. And then to start your pump, there's an, a power switch behind it here. You just turn that on. Okay. And then once you turn it on originally, um, you open this up, and you're supposed to push both of these buttons at the same time and hold them for five seconds. Note, this is a leaf net cover. I took out the wire part and just strung rope through it. For me, it's easier and it doesn't corrode with the metal. And I have that to put over the pool because I'm sitting under uh, lots of oak trees. And last year I had the pool where my table is and I got all kinds of debris in there. But looks like currently, being over here, I'm getting far less debris. But I have this here just in case to catch the big stuff. 
I highly recommend a, a leaf net cover.